Katie, the trial continued this morning with the state questioning Russell Lafitte. He initially took the stand on Friday and answered questions from his attorney for four hours. And today, the state got its turn. The crux of the state's argument is that Russell Lafitte was a co-conspirator with Alec Murdoch to steal and misappropriate millions of dollars in settlement funds from Murdoch's clients. A key point today, the state saying Lafitte took $450,000 in fees from serving as a PR or conservator for Murdoch's clients after they won big settlements. Prosecutors argued that Lafitte took the money in exchange for turning a blind eye to how Murdoch stole and squandered their clients' money. Lafitte even admitted that he intentionally hid that income to avoid paying taxes on it until 2021 when he started getting questioned by law enforcement. Lafitte stuck to his argument that he's made throughout the trial, which is that Alec Murdoch used him and deceived him. He never said he never imagined Murdoch was stealing money or that he was helping. Feet took the stand for about four hours today. He only had time to answer questions from his own attorney and Lafitte really painted a picture for the jury. He told everyone how he's lived in Hampton County for most of his life and how he never wanted to leave Hampton County. Lafitte was fired from Palmetto State Bank last January after months of investigation into a multi-million dollar fraud conspiracy with disgrace and disbarred former attorney Alec Murdoch. The result was Murdoch being able to pass millions of dollars in stolen money through Palmetto State Bank. Today in court, Lafitte acknowledged his part in that, saying he trusted Murdoch, so he signed whatever the jailed former lawyer asked him to sign. Lafitte said over and over again that he wishes he had been more careful, but he testified none of it was intentional, and he didn't know he was helping Murdoch steal money. The bottom line from Lafitte, he says Murdoch set him up. Once he found out, Lafitte said he was disgusted and that he was furious. He also tried to show himself in a positive light from helping law enforcement in their investigation and paying back clients for money that he lost. Whether you have plans to spend a few hours taking advantage of Black Friday sales or taking time off to visit those loved ones for the holidays, you don't want thieves taking advantage of you. You don't need to set up traps like Kevin from Home Alone, but Myrtle Beach police say that there are some important do's and don'ts to keep out unwanted visitors. Keeping the magic in and the Grinches out. Master Corporal Thomas Vest with Myrtle Beach PD says the first do may seem obvious, but it's often forgotten. Always lock your doors and windows. Thieves look for and enter through ones that are left unlocked. Make sure your home alarm system or ring camera is set and leave on a few lights or the TV so it appears to look like someone is home. Do not leave your spare keys outside of your home. And while everyone loves a tree with presents in the window, avoid making your value valuables visible. Post about your trip when you get back and try to conceal those boxes a little bit, break them down, put them in a recycling bin or take them straight to one of the recycling centers we have here. Before stockings are stuffed and gifts are wrapped, you can also be a victim while Black Friday shopping. Next to being aware of your surroundings, shopping with a friend, buying your least expensive items first and locking everything in your trunk. Plan your trip. Um, when you get your big ticket items, know what you're going to do with it afterwards. Uh, if you think about things ahead of time, then it's no surprise when you get there. As for the thieves on this year's naughty list, Vest says they'll do whatever they can to stop those stealing the spirit and the gifts this holiday season. Between our street cameras, our license plate readers, and the very active community we have, um, this isn't the place to commit crimes. If you do, we'll hold you accountable for your actions.